Good morning, everybody. This is Nicole with the Diana Initiative, and we are back with Hacker Summer Camp 101. Today, I've got Nikki. Nikki, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, I'm the lead of Octopus Game, a contest that uh, is run at DEF CON. Huh. I don't think I've seen that. What is Octopus Game? Um, Octopus Game began about three years ago at DEF CON 30. Um, the idea originally came from my husband trying to do like a playful ripoff of Squid Games. Um, and, and it does it. It's the same thing, basically. It's like a battle royale. The first year, we just collected a bunch of little kids' games and gave them their their tasks, basically. And they like battled each other in the middle of the con, of, you know, outside all different kinds of places. And really, it's just to um, like get people to interact. You know, we're all like kind of introverted when it comes in this kind of sector. And um, my husband really wanted to kind of bring that out of people. He's very much an introvert, you know, kind of like the oddball of us all. And uh, yeah, he wanted it to be, you know, interactive, community-centered, um, and encourage people to step out of their comfort zones and explore the con. That sounds like a really good goal because it is a little bit hard sometimes to get to know strangers and a contest kind of is a forcing factor. For that. Now, you said it happens all around DEF CON and puts people against one another. Is this something where they need to sign up in advance and then they're told like where to meet? Or is this something where you post it and anyone who wants to compete shows up for a first or second sign up at a certain time? So our first few years and this past year, we did like sign ups and I think we'll still be doing pre-registration just so we can try to get a good idea of how many people might play. But I think this year, we're this coming up year, we're actually going to kind of keep it open. So if you come late, you can still play. You may not be able to get to the end of the game, but it will still be good practice for you for the next year. And that is the fun thing at DEF CON is, you know, learning how something works. So you're like, okay, next year I'm going to be ready and maybe I'll win this thing. For sure. Um, I was, um, yeah, our, the game has morphed uh, continuously since the first year. And I, and it's probably still going to morph until we find something that really just flows. And obviously that's not always going to work. So it's good to be flexible. And we also never know where we're going to end up. Like LVCC was brand new for a lot of us. And that definitely required some uh, rethinking of stuff. For sure. For sure. Now, if I am a kid, like under 18, or uh, I'm completely new to DEF CON, is that okay if I come and participate? Do I need to have any hacking knowledge? Do I need to be 18? No, actually, this is like the best part of this particular contest. Um, I really think about my first time going to DEF CON, which was like, right after COVID, I believe, right when they opened it up in person. And it was a little daunting for me. I didn't know like what to do or where to go or who to talk to. And even if my husband had been going for a couple of, Eddie is his name, would be going, went a couple of years prior th to me. And so he had a little bit of know-how, but, you know, even with that, it's still like, well, what do I do? Where do I go? How do I interact with these people? And, um, you know, there are like a plethora of like walkthroughs, tips, guide, guides online um, to help you get through DEF CON. But sometimes you kind of need to, a push to take that first step. Uh, and my aim for this contest was like, let me show you the door kind of experience. Which is excellent because there is so much going on and it is so scary sometimes to just find that first thing that gets you to talk to somebody because that can be really intimidating, especially in like, what, 20,000 people? I think, it, I think this year I heard 30,000. So even yeah. worse. Yes, for sure. Now, do they only need to bring themselves and a willingness to kind of play some games or do they have to like bring any kind of equipment? I don't know, knee pads, who knows? <laughs> no, not that crazy. Maybe, maybe one, one year we might go that crazy, but uh, no, really you won't need anything for the most part. Um, I think I under the only thing, maybe a writing utensil, 
I underestimated that this year and um, I should have brought writing utensils. We typically try to provide whatever materials we want for the game to progress and stuff. So as long as those materials last during DEF CON, we will give them out. I just didn't have pencils for people. It is never a bad idea to carry an extra pen and pencil. Uh, you might have random customs forms in your life or random other things you need to jot down. So help yourself out, bring a pen and pencil, and then maybe it'll help if you sign up late at Octopus Games so you still have pen and pencil. Squid Games. I saw some of that. If somebody has not seen Squid Games, is that something you recommend maybe that they watch or read the Wikipedia article on, or that's totally unnecessary to understanding what you're up to? I feel like the um, structure and stuff of the game has kind of moved away from the Battle Royale version. Um, that might come back again. Um, we don't know, but they, I mean, what I'm trying to say is that they really don't need to see it. If they want to, it's cool. It's a cool show. I would recommend watching it, but, um, at least to get an idea of where we were coming from, from the beginning, but yeah, it's not needed at this point. So optional, if you haven't seen it, feel free to check out the Wikipedia or stream it from whatever streaming service you use, uh, but totally not necessary. So badge life for anybody who's unfamiliar with DEF CON, hackers love shiny things, blinky things, exclusive stickers. And so a lot of times uh, villages or people have, you know, stickers, badges or T-shirts or other items that are exclusive to their contest or their village. And so you have to either participate or sign up in advance to get them. And then you can show up like, hey, I participated in this village and we'll get like tons of these throughout the event. Is that something that your event either sells in advance or gives away as prizes, some kind of exclusive fun thing? No badges. I do make stickers. We get them printed out. I, we make final stickers. Um, this year I did sell some of those. Uh, and this coming year, I'm definitely going to have those out again. Uh, but no badges. I wish we had a badge. I have an idea for one. Um, and I would really like to do that. I just don't have the skills and my electronic skills are very rudimentary. So if anybody's out there, hey. <laughs> so if you have always been into electronics and you're interested in making your first badge, this could be an opportunity for, for sure. you. Every contest and village takes a whole bunch of volunteers to exist and happen. Uh, if anyone here is unfamiliar, every event that you see, there is not one or two or three people behind. There is usually a whole bunch of people behind making that cool thing for you. For Octopus Games, uh, is there sponsors, volunteers, uh, year-round people that you kind of want to give a shout out to? And like, would you accept new volunteers if somebody raised their hand? Uh, yeah. So our group is still really small. Um, so we don't have too many volunteer spots. We will, I will take your, anybody who wants to volunteer and we might have a drawing and stuff like that, uh, but never guaranteed. Uh, but for shout outs to, for this year, um, I had some great help with sponsorship. Josh Mason helped out with that a lot with, um, Oh boy, I can't remember both of the sponsors right now, but they were wonderful. They gave Comtia prizes and um, some Try Hack Me uh, vouchers. Really, really good. You know, we bought other like little trinkets, like lock picking kits and stuff. This year was awesome. Um, also, Wade Wells helped out with that kind of stuff as well. Um, George, Jen, I mean, they're so there's so many people who helped out this year. It was I went from it just being me and my husband in my first year ever running this to like, you know, six people and telling them what to do. That was a strange uh, transition <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Something I explain to people is that if you want to get experience that is absolutely worthy of going on your resume, volunteer at a village because you have to learn personnel management, scheduling, resource management, delegation, like all sorts of skills that they're going to ask you for when you are looking for a promotion at work that you may not be able to get at work yet, you absolutely can get uh, participating in some kind of events. For sure. 
Now, right now, are you only at DEF CON or does Octopus Games pop up at other events? So I am super excited. This is the first time anybody knows about this. But um, again, thank, thanks to Wade. Uh, we're actually going to be going to B-Side San Diego this coming up year in March. So this is going to be the first time we're actually venturing out from DEF CON. That is awesome. Congratulations. It is always exciting and a little scary to like be doing multiple things throughout the year. You've got to figure out two different organizing groups, but everyone going to be inside San Diego, you absolutely should look forward to this because it sounds like a great way to get to know people at the event. And that is always the hardest part, showing up to the event and figuring out how to dive in. All right. So I think we are just about at the end here. If I wanted to follow along for Octopus Game to see if there were announcements or information, is there a website, a Mastodon? Do you tend to use the DEF CON forum? Like, where should I look to follow along to, you know, understand, like, when I should sign up or where things are going on? Yeah. Um, so we, we definitely, tw uh, Twitter, or I should say X, excuse me, um, at Octopus Game DC. Um, that's where a lot of the announcements have been going, but we just opened an Instagram and that one's Octo Game. Uh, we currently don't have a Discord or anything like that, but if we have enough interest, we might. And then our website to find Octopus Game would be miralabs.info. Uh, awesome. I will put all of that into the show notes for anyone looking for it. And then I guess kind of for last little story time, uh, you know, if you want to tell us anything interesting about Octopus Game or if you want to say like why you really think that somebody should stop in and give it a try uh, if this is their first or maybe their 14th uh, DEF CON. Yeah, um, so with Octopus Game, it's like really relaxed. I feel even in my first time, I always kind of wanted to touch base on like the CTF style type games. But DEF CON seems like a real, a real serious I never, we never really, never had like a little, like simple, you know, dip my toes in type of CTF. And that's really what Octopus Game is kind of like mm, trying to get at is like, okay, you can try it. Here's some puzzles, you know, go check out the villages, find out what villages you want to interact with more, especially if you're new and you don't know what um, area, because IT cyber is so huge. It's daunting to try to pick something. And I think that's what best, what DEF CON is best for is trying to find that your knit. And um, people are scared to do that, I think, or maybe not scared, just maybe a little timid. And this kind of gets that in motion, you know, go to the village, ask them questions, get to know them. If you like them, you can go back. Um yeah, it, it really is to just have fun, relax. If you've been doing it for 14 years, just come and have a good time. It's not that serious. I mean, our last, our final game for Octopus Game this this year was Simon Says. And the person who won that um, game actually won a black badge this year. So Octopus Game was a black badge winner. and. Thanks to George for playing. I'm sorry, Greg, not George. I mean, it's just a, it's a chill game. And if there's anybody out there who would like to assist or help create a badge, sponsor, volunteer, think your conference would like um, a little bit of interactive orientation, don't hesitate to let us know. Well, awesome. Thank you so much. And I hope everybody at least goes and uh, checks you out. Uh, like we said, there is a lot going on at DEF CON. So maybe if you're you know, not up for participating, at least go swing by and see what's going on because it sounds like it can be entertaining either participating or watching. For sure. Thank Thanks, you. everybody. Bye.